Hey guys, today I'll be um, reading the story, uh, Karishima X Listener, My Pebble. So, I'll be reading A Dinner to Remember, Part 1 and Part 2. Because cause if I leave off where Part 1 ends, it doesn't make any sense. So, I, also I was wondering, should I do background music still? Or if it's like too annoying, you can't focus. Sorry if I like stutter a lot. I'm not really good at reading. So let's do this. As I ran, as I ran downstairs, I saw my mom's face. It twisted into the scariest thing I ever seen. She started yelling at me for not having a time management and how I needed to be more like my brother. Sorry, Mom. The dress was hard to zip up. And you were already downstairs. That's no excuse. Now come on, or, or we'll be late. Yes, Mom. We entered a car that was finally delivered after two hours and head off. As we started driving, I noticed a change in the neighbors. We were in a calm, quiet part of the city. But as we got closer to our destination, it was loud and busy. Soon, we arrived to the house of my mom's friends. It was big, but not as... It was big yet, but not big enough to call a mansion. Now, why in? We have... I know Bak... I know the Baku goes for a long time. Don't act out. Yes, ma'am. When my mom got this angry, I knew she was nervous. What I could gather, she knew Misuki from a young age. They were best friends, but they also were each other's rivals. We, we love, we, I love how they have like a nice toxic relationship with each other. Mom and I finally left the car and went to the door. I rang the door, I rang the bell. And I was meet with a very looking, with a very angry, angry looking boy. Who the hell are you? Katsuki, where is your manners? The boy just rolled his eyes and left us standing there until a woman who looked like a complete rec- replica of him came to the door. Ren, I'm so happy to see, I'm so happy you're here. Sorry about Katsuki, he's got some anger issues. What was that, old hag? See? Anyways, come in, please. We entered the house and it smelled of food. Food took over my senses. I was kind of obsessed with food. I love traveling with my mom and trying new foods. That's how the addiction started. So, of course, when I smelled it, I had to ask what we were having. Miss Bakugo, my name is Wyan. Sorry to be so forward, but... What are you cooking? It smells amazing. My mom nudged me a little. A bit, so I knew I will get a scolding after this later. Well, we'll first, well, first start off. Hello, Ian. I haven't seen you in real life before. Only pictures, and may I ask, you're, I say you're more beautiful than ever. Thank you. And to answer your question, we're having chick, we're chicken and vegetables. Though the chicken is kind of spicy. I just smiled and nodded as we went to the living room. My mom and Masuki went to the kitchen to catch up while I was just left there in the living room. Hey, Wayan, why don't you go upstairs and talk to Katsuki? He's in his room, the last door on the left. Um, sure, okay. I didn't want to go to this Katsuki guy's room. But if I wanted to get away from my mother, I would have to go there. So I didn't mind. I found a door, and I was thinking I can make a run for it now and just act like I wasn't there. Before I could, he opened the door. What do you want extra? Um, Your mom told me to come here since her and my mom are talking.
He scoffed. So, Ren, remember how I used to kick your ass and basically everything in school? Mizuki said. Yeah, I do, but... But you remember when you were interested in my husband and he picked me over you. Whoa, okay, ladies. Let's take a breather. Yeah, okay. Masuki let talk in the living room. Okay, come here, Miss Bakugo said. I'm going to the restroom. And with my and with my mom gone with my mom gone too. Um sorry about her. She's before I can finish my sentence, I see Kasuki crackling next to me. And that's when I started laughing. I'm sorry about my mom. She's a handful sometimes, go men. Wait, you know Japanese and you had me thinking speaking English this whole time. You had me speaking English the whole time. Time skip. So this lists everything that happened during the dinner. You would think about think we all left the asylum. Masuki and mom and about three or eight fights, I couldn't keep count. Kasuki yelled at me for the rest of the night because I made him speak different a different language. Even though I told him that I didn't understand it as well. Miss Bakugo had to take Masuki Mr. Bakugo because like the thing says Mrs. but it's Mr. Mr. Bakugo had to take Miss Suki and my mom out each time they fought or they would have cloned over the table. What's my mom trying to do? As for the icing on the cake, Katsuki banned me from from uh, forever speaking to him again. Apparently I was quote unquote a manipulative extra that forces people to do things that they didn't understand. I don't even know how I became ma manipulative, but I brushed it off knowing that he was lying. Remember my quirk? Yeah, it's also like a lie detector, so I knew he was lying, but I didn't let but I let him do him. Soon enough we finally were leaving to go home. I said bye to everyone while my mom went to the car already a literally with a literal pout on her face. Why end? Come on, we have some unpacking to do. I waved my final goodbye and ran to the car. I didn't even tried to talk to my mom on the way home. I let her think about her own problems for a while. I thought about what Katsuki said. Hey, if you wanted to talk to me about, oh wait, this happened earlier. Hey, if you wanted to talk to me about someone, but I don't know them, like cute. I mean like the neighbor of the male species. I stuttered. Titch, who was the male spe? Who was this male species? Like I said, my neighbor. Well, why don't you just talk? Stop being a pussy and just do it. It's just I'm not used to talking with not used to talking to people. I use my quirk to talk to people, so that then do that. I Katsuki, you are the smartest person ever. You're damn right. <laughs> Back to now. So who I so here I am, two blocks away from my house. When my mom finally decided to speak. So how do you like the Bakugos? They were nice. Kats Katsuki and me got along. So that's nice. Me and my mom weren't really close. So after that question, it was back to silence. So we got home. And we went straight upstairs to my room. And I went straight upstairs to my room. Hmm. I'm packing. Can't wait till tomorrow. After being on my phone... 
and binging Julie and the Phantoms. For like the fifth time, I was truly bored. Then it hit me. Maybe I'll try talking to him with my quirk. So that's exactly what I did. Well, that's no help, I sighed as Mina left. All she said was to talk to her. But how am I supposed to do that? Put a paper up to my window and hope she sees? Wait. <laughs> I'm so stupid. I It's old fashioned Taylor, it's old fashioned Taylor Swift, but it can work. So here I am, with a paper taped to my window, hoping for her to say something back. Then I heard this voice. It was soft. It was kind, it's soft, kind of like a whisper. If I wasn't... If I wasn't waiting, then I probably would have missed it. I lay back down until I heard it again, and again, and again. And I finally recognized the voice. It was hers. I remember I remembered it. I remembered it from when she was talking with her mom. When she first moved here. Hello. Are you there? I hope I'm not in a stranger's head. Do you live at... Kirshima's address. Right? Yes, I mean, yeah, I do. Oh, thank God. I thought I was went to someone else's mind. It happens when you, when you think about mind quirks. I'm YN. I'm YN. You? I'm Kirishima. Nice to meet you. Or should I say, talk to you, YN. <laughs> you too. I saw your sign. Funny things is I was... I already planned to talk to you. Wow, what a confidence. And then we talked all night, exchanging contact information. Well, Kirishima, it's been fun, but I'm reaching the limit of my quirk. And I'm tired, so let's talk tomorrow. Okay? Yeah, of course. Tomorrow night. Night, Kiri. He, she called me Kiri. I'm freaking out. But, but calmly, she so she won't hear me from her actual window. Tomorrow, time to think of some amazing things to wow her. All right, guys, that's the end of it. So the next part will be called window conversation. I think it'll come out tomorrow. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Bye.